Okay, hello YouTube. Um, this is my fourth time actually making this video because <laughs> yeah, I, I messed up. I forgot my mic was even muted. So I was basically talking and, you know, not doing anything. So I'm going to go ahead and restart this. Now, your first thing, you're going to need the triple oscillator. If you don't have this, just go up here, click this folder, and then triple oscillator will be right here. Now, you're going to want your controller rack open. If it's not open, uh, you're just going to click this button right here. We're going to go ahead and uh, open up the triple oscillator. Now, what, the first thing you're going to want to do is put these two to PM. Now, I'm going to lower the FR, the frequency, to like negative 12. Screw it, negative 14, doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to click the gate wave for both of these. And I'm going to leave the last one as a sine wave because it's going to act as a little bit of a extra smoother base for the back. So now what you're going to want to do is go from plug-in to EMV slash LFO. And we're going to go down here, activate this filter. Here, right-click, uh, right-click frequency. Wait, no, no, no. Okay. First of all, we're going to actually add a controller in the controller rack. And go ahead and open it by clicking that. Go to frequency. Connect to controller. User controller. It automatically selects uh, controller one. And we'll right-click speed. As you can tell, it's the frequency is already automatically going up and down by itself. Which is pretty cool, but I'm going to click eighth note for this example. Now you can choose whatever you really want, but just for this tutorial and what we're about to do, you should probably click eighth note. Um, now we have it going like this and this is what it sounds like. So yeah, now that we have that down, I'm gonna click over here, open a piano rule. Keep tapping that button until you see where it's uh, gonna show up. Uh, I need to select this right here. There. So now we have a basic bass line going. Let's go ahead and listen to it. And that sounds pretty amazing already, to be honest. But I'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste it in uh, right beside it. Now, how I was doing that, you have to click it, left click it before you right click it. Because um, otherwise it doesn't work because you have to actually create the note first. <clears throat> okay, um, now to show you the last part of this. I'm gonna go ahead and just to make, keep it safe, make sure it stays at that uh, speed that of the frequency, you know, it's passing out, going back and forth. I'm gonna control, hold control, and drag it over to the first automation track right there. Now, what that's going to ensure is that the frequency keeps on oscillating at the exact same rate for this whole part right here in case you mess up or do anything wrong. It's just like a, you know. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and right-click speed again. I'm going to go over here and go 16th note. Now, it's, you, as you can tell, it's going a lot faster. So I'm going to I'm going to hold control and drag speed over here and place it right here for the second one. Now, what that's going to do, I'm going to go ahead and show you, actually. So, as you can tell, it sounds pretty awesome. But, in my opinion, we're still missing one more thing. The resonance and the volume. Now, what we're going to do for that... I'll show you what this does uh, after I actually do it, you know. But anyway, I'm going to turn the amount all the way up. I'm going to increase the release a little bit. Um, put the sustain all the way up. 
Okay, I'm gonna put release a bit farther out. Okay, what this is gonna make sure of is that we actually have a fade out instead of it instantly just cutting out. Now I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go over to volume now from resonance and put the amount all the way up. As you can tell, it immediately fades out. Now you can change this by increasing the RAL release. Okay, you can also add some attack if you want. I want some attack in the in the resonance as well. Just a little bit. Okay, now let's go ahead and play it, see what it sounds like. So it actually fades out a little bit instead of instantly cuts. In my opinion, it sounds better. You can have it fade out as long as you want. Um, you know, depending on how you want it set up, or don't even make it fade out at all. It doesn't even matter. Just as long as you can make your music sound good. But yeah, um, if you want any more tutorials, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna include something different in this tutorial. I'm gonna actually show you guys how to do a simple kick, a little bassy kick. So. To do that kick, you're going to do add the kicker. You're going to drag this over here, put it in an empty space. If you're out of room, you just drag it up here, and it'll still add. I'm going to click the kicker. Now, let's go ahead and see what it sounds like. I don't like that sound. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to edit it to our liking. I'm going to reduce the click. And... noise increase a little bit reduce the length uh, let's see okay I like the way it sounds right there a little bit okay so the reason I did it right here instead of up here now let me show you something first up here in the beat slash bass line uh, and if you don't want to add different pitches of the kick then you might as well not even add it down there you might as well do it up here because well I mean you can simply click in different spots and and then you add it down here in the beat slash bass line and it'll automatically add in there but down here the reason I added it here is because I want a piano roll you can make more complex beat more complex beats like that so go ahead and add So now it has a slight pitch difference, and to me, it honestly matters a little bit more than it does for other people. Because, I mean, the littlest change in pitch can actually make a song very good. I'm going to go ahead and paste it in for all these. I know it's kind of a hassle, because up here in the bass line, you can just keep on clicking. You don't even have to right-click and paste, but it's worth it if it's going to make your music sound better. Every little bit of better sound is, you know, I'm horrible at wording things, but I think you get my point. Um, now let's go ahead and see what it sounds like. Now you're going to want to change the volume of the kicker and everything, but I think you can find that out on your own. Because there's even a volume option right here, and you know. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you figured out what you needed to figure out. And I'll see you later.